Good morning. Hey, good morning, Marcel and Dreads. Good morning, Bible News Radio. Love it. Destiny Exotic. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being here. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys had a great weekend. I know. Well, this weekend, I just didn't... I just didn't uh, scope this weekend, but I should have. Hey, Dane Ray. Yo, yo, yo. Afternoon, afternoon. Good morning to some of y'all. Yo, 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 Kara Allen. Um, hey, good morning. Good morning, DeLeon. D-Money. Um, I had a, a great opportunity to hang out with D and his wife, uh, DeLeon and his wife yesterday for brunch. Um, it's awesome. Getting ready for your wedding. That's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations on that. Thank you. I hope you had a great, I hope you had a good weekend, too. I hope it was uh, amazingly enjoyable for you. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to try to make it. Hey, hey, Kim, how's it going? Um, Kim, you get, these, I, you guys are phenomenal. I'm so happy you guys are here. Um, thank you for coming on here again. I always ask you guys for two things as you join. Uh, do Before I tell you who I am and go to what I want to talk about today, I want to try and make my scopes a little bit more brief. But, hey, Tammy, great to see you. Get to see you yesterday. You, you and you and, uh, you and Dillion, you guys are awesome. So, uh, hopefully, we'll, do, we'll get to do this again. Um, Oh yeah, so the, yeah, it was great hanging out with you, man. You guys, you guys were mad cool. It, we were there for like hours, and then Chianti shows up too. And I, I mean, that was crazy. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this quick because I, I have I have a, I have a deadline today for um, you know some of you guys may or may not know in the U S. There's a, there's a tax deadline. Uh, don't make your scopes brief. <laughs> I appreciate that. But hey, real quick, I always ask you guys two things: give me some hearts and uh, share this with, share this with people if you think that I'm about to bring value to your life. In any way, shape, or form. Um, what I want to talk to you today about is if you want to be successful, you have to make a decision for it. And I'll explain what I mean in a second. My name is Abong Eka. Hey, Courtney, Courtney Coleman. Good to see you, Courtney. Hey, Songs of Charisma. Hey, Lo. Um, my name is Abong Eka. I'm a CPA, which is a certified public accountant here in the U.S. I'm also the author of the best selling business book, Start Me Up. The No Business Plan Business Plan. I'm the founder of Economics, E-K-A-N-O-M-I-C-S. We focus on your mission, mindset, and your money. We work with businesses online and offline to start their business, uh, set their prices, and then raise their prices so they can maximize their profits. Uh, we do a lot of business strategy for small businesses on and offline uh, for the most part, and, as well as coaching. So what I try to do is I come on Monday and talk to you about the importance of motivation in the morning. At night, I'll give you business tips, and I also do blab that is a, little, a hybrid of the two. But today, I want to talk to you about have you made a decision to be successful? Success is not something you wait for. Unfortunately, for so many people, and I've done the same thing, I'm going to tell you what success is, and I'm going to tell you how a lot of people get it. I'm going to tell you how I've gotten any level of success I've ever received. I'll tell you how I got it, and I'm going to show you a few stories as to, 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 to illustrate the point further. So for me... A lot of people, when it comes to success, they think it's something in the future. They think it's something they have to they have to wait for in the future. They think it's something they have to they have to they have to chase after. But success is not something you pursue. It's something you attract. It's something it's something that becomes who you are as you go through your journey in life. It's not something you look for in the future. Now, the problem with looking in the future for success is you never actually get there. You never actually get to a place where you get the level of success that you want. Because if it's always something that's elusive, something that's always in the future, you'll never come to a place of peace where you will evolve into a different person. You'll always be searching for something. You'll always going after something. You'll always become needy of it, right? And understanding who you need to be in order to get to that place by making a decision matters more than anything else. So for me, when it came to, I say, writing, the, uh, writing my book, uh, Start Me Up, The No Business Plan, Business Plan, I had an idea, a general idea of what it would look like. You know, I could taste it. I can feel the book in my hands. You know, I knew what my life, I, I felt I knew what my life would be like. And, and, and I, but the day that everything changes when I made a decision to go after it, when I made a decision to be that person, when I made a decision to, to believe that it was possible for me. And so the reason why I'm sharing this story today is because uh, what, I, what I didn't mention to you guys is, yes, it was a bestseller on Amazon, but secondly, my book was also published in Indonesia. For some reason, I have a huge Indonesian following, and, and, and my book was published in Indonesia to the point where somebody read it, and then they tweeted it to me, said, hey, your book was a great read. Thank you so much. Yes, Dane Ray, um, vision plus action equals change. Exactly, exactly. 
And, and the first thing you have to do before you go to vision and action is you got to make a decision. So you got to make a decision. If you want to have a good marriage, you got to make a decision. If you want to have a good job, you got to make a decision. If you want to have a good business idea, you have to make a decision, right? Small bits uh, now through the making your mind speaking. Yes, yes, visualization. I agree with that. Thank you so much, Marcel. And, 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 and you have to make a decision for it to happen. Because what happens when we do is we don't. If we don't believe it's possible. Part of the belief structure requires you to make a decision. If you do not make the decision to believe it, it will never happen. It will never work for you. It will never come to a place where you get what you want in life. And so people, you, you speak too vaguely about what you want in this life. It is difficult. The Honey Badger, thank you so much for watching me. I really appreciate you being the first on your, uh, your, your first time here. The Honey Badger don't care. Honey Badger is going to do great things. And so, you if you want, thank you so much, Honey Badger. If you want something in your life to happen, to materialize, you've got to make a decision. And it can, it can be something as quickly as saying, I want to make a certain amount of, I want to earn a certain amount of income. And what happens is you tell your, when you made a decision, you tell your brain it's possible. That's why making this, it manifests it. And if you add a physical component to it, you increase the likelihood of it sticking to your brain. You got to understand it. Your brain is a notebook. Every, every, every word you utter, every, every negative thing you spout, every positive thing you prophesize and speak out in blessings, they, they literally in, they, they imprint themselves on your brain, your subconscious and your conscious mind. Okay. And that gives you the belief that increases your level to, of belief, the impetus to keep going. Curly Hair Designs, good morning. If you do not speak positive words of affirmation towards your goal, towards your, towards your desires, towards your dreams, it'll never work for you. Again, because you're hearing other people from outside giving you negative advice, giving you ridiculous opinions, telling you it won't work. The media. I'm on the radio. To, I'm listening to the radio today as I drive in to the office, and they're talking about gas prices going up and down, and now everybody's running, running around with their heads chopped off. If, you, if, you, if you've made a decision to be successful, either financially spiritually, emotionally, mentally. The price of gas doesn't mean anything to you. The price of oil doesn't mean anything to you because you'll be in a place of abundance. You'll be able to pay. You won't be thinking about it. You'll be focused on the things that you can that you can control. And so there are a lot of people you know in your life who are walking around thinking, oh, the gas prices. Oh, who's going to win the presidency? Oh, Jennifer Lopez on American Idol. They're worried about things that are insignificant, that one, don't matter to their goals, that two, don't matter to their, their purpose, and three, don't matter to their lives and their ability to earn an income for their families, right? My father doesn't have an abundance problem. That's good. That's good to hear. Um, and so, and so, and so, so for the key, so the key is understanding specifically that you have to make a decision as to what you want today. And you got to speak it out loud. Here's one more thing I want to say. So, about a year ago, I didn't under I didn't realize that I could make a certain amount of money in an hour of, of work. I, I call it quote unquote work. And and then one day, I had a conversation with a friend who's a, who works who does event planning for a large multinational corporation. She runs all their all their conferences and internal stuff. And we were talking one day last fall, and she said, "You know what?" She said, you should be charging X amount of dollars for speaking. This is what you should be charging five figures to speak. That's who you should be. And she's like, if you don't charge, if you don't think you're worth five figures, no one will pay you five figures to speak. I said, where? She said, yes. I said, all right, cool. And then from that to sit, like the next day, I literally decided I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I have, a, I have the ability to speak for, for five figures, period. And then a few months later, I had a, uh, you can, you can, you can watch the, the thing on YouTube. I had a multinational bank. Right, one of the one of the top two banks, basically in the world, paid me more money in an hour than I've ever made before in my life to do a one-hour presentation with them uh, about taxes earlier this year. But it only happened after I made the decision that I was worth that much, and I made a decision that I was worth going after that and doing that particular kind of work for that kind of money. There are people I meet who speak for free a lot. The people I meet who have great speeches who charge several hundred dollars to speak. What are we talking about right now? You're bringing a lot of value. I, but I made a decision to say I knew what I was worth. I knew I would earn what I was earning. I know there are people who are earning a lot more speaking, uh, speaking and pre giving presentations, speaking at conferences, speaking at, uh, at corporations. And why couldn't I be that guy? I have. Ex I, I knew what exactly. I knew what I was worth. But again. In order to know what you're worth, you have to make a decision to chase it. You have to make a decision to say that is what it's going to be. And you, you literally have to speak that blessing out loud. 
how I've missed you in the last week. Oh, I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you were able to come back, the Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't care. So, I told you it's going to be a quick scope. I want to I ask you guys on Monday, right? On Monday, this is the day you, 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 you prophesize your vision. This is the day that you speak your vision out. This is the day that you share your beliefs with the universe, with your God, with your, with your people in your life. This is the day you speak out what you want. And you say it with conviction. It's not, I want to make 100000 one day. I want to make 20000 I want to only want to make $50,000 this year. No, that is weakness, right? That is, that is telling your brain, if it doesn't work, it's okay. You're telling your brain, this day, this, this day this is the day that everything starts. This is the day that I will make the money I want. When you start thinking that way, your brain works backwards for you. I guarantee you. When I picked a number, my brain worked backwards. How do you get there? Right? If I know, here's an example, last example. I live in Washington, D.C. Baltimore is about 45 minutes away. I use the example a lot. If I tell myself I'm going to Baltimore, I know exactly what that looks like. I know how to get there. I know the roads I would take. But if I said I'm going to go up north, I'm going to go west, and I have no idea, you end up meandering. You end up following the street signs, right? You end up following the people on the road telling you to go left and go right. You end up following the, the reports of traffic, but they're not, even, they're not even accurate. You end up listening to everything else except you and yourself and what's going on in your brain. But if someone tells me, go to Baltimore right now, I know exactly how to get there as quickly as possible. So you have to speak it out. You have to say, you tell yourself, because I've told myself when my brain says, you need to go to Baltimore. I know exactly how, I know how that road looks. I know what that road looks like. But you have to, you have to believe it's possible or else you will be, you'll fall victim to the words and opinions of other people, of outside influences. And your brain will not be able to comprehend all that and you end up being lost. You'll be no further along in your journey of life and success than you are now next year. But that's not happening. That stops today. Today we make a decision. Today we make a decision to make the money we deserve. Today we make the decision to have a good relationship. Today's the day we make the decision to live a life of purpose and passion. Like I keep telling you, purpose is a confluence in the intersection of your goals and your gifts. Once you identify those two things, your purpose will materialize. Today is the day. Not tomorrow, not next week, not this year. I don't care what you got going on today. I don't care what's going on in your life. Today is the day. Right? We're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. I promise. All right. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for, for everything. Uh, stay tuned. Right? If you're going through some difficulties, some tough times, you know, don't give up. Don't give in. Get through it. Right? Am I going to be at Summit? What Summit? Periscope. Oh, Periscope Summit. I'm not going to be at Periscope Summit. Um, I apologize. I, um, not necessarily, but I couldn't make it this week. The uh, tickets are all sold out. And then um, um, I, have, I have some plans next week. Yeah, per I figured. I thought about it. It'd be a great idea to go to Periscope, to be honest with you. Um, I should have actually made that happen, but I had some commitments, and and so I won't be able to make it. But, guys, be great today, all right? Have a great start to your week. It's not a case of the Mondays. It's not a case of anything else. It's all nonsense. Those are just words that the lazy people tell themselves so they can get, they can, like, continue their lives of mediocrity. You're not mediocre, right? The fact you're even listening to what I'm saying shows me that you want more in your life. 